There are so many healthy options for healthy food at your local grocery store, but how do you know what you're doing, making the best selection when trying to get healthy or lose a few pounds? Uh, good question. So it can be really confusing. So we enlisted the help of Dr. Ian Smith, author of The Clean 20, to show us how small changes can yield big healthy results when it comes to your waistline. Try to get yogurt that does not have fruit on the bottom. Typically, yogurts with fruit on the bottom are heavier in sugars, okay? If you get a plain, non-fat Greek yogurt and add your fresh berries, whether it's strawberries or blueberries, I don't like blackberries, they tend to be seedy, they tend to be tart, but if you like them, fine. But add your own berries, it tends to be less sugar. So let's talk about protein bars really quick because you see them everywhere, at the grocery store, at the gas station, for goodness sake you know, the pharmacy, and it's tempting to grab one and thinking you're doing the right thing. Yeah, with protein bars, you really have to read the back of the package. One, look for the sugar content, very important. Two, look at the calorie content. A lot of these protein bars do have high levels of protein, but at what cost? I like almonds, so just get some nice raw almonds with no salt, and you can have something very similar to a protein bar. Beverages. Yes. Again, you're always out and about. You might have a craving for something sweet or something along those lines. You s and I am a coffee addict, which you already yes. know. Yes. It's tempting to always grab something that's pre made, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's enjoyable. But you say we really need to stay away from these kind of. These liquids are diet busters. They are full of calories, they are full of sugar, they are full of artificial ingredients. Make your own smoothie, that can be helpful. So for example, I always like to have bananas. Uh, you can have some organic milk, okay? Try your berry, blueberry, strawberry. I like blueberries because they're purple. I also like strawberries, I like that red. I like colored smoothies and some sliced apples. When you make these smoothies, three minutes or less, and you actually can preserve smoothies. Put them in a mason jar, they keep up to seven days. When you're ready to go, shake it up, it's on the road with you. But try to avoid as much as possible these prepared drinks that have all those added ingredients. Instead, go fresh. Here we are at Honey Bee, right in Southwest Detroit. We're not at a fancy grocery store, I won't say any names. Right. <laughs> we can get this at our local grocery stores, it won't break the bank, and we get everything we need to eat healthy. And that is the point of the Clean 20. Simple, affordable, and accessible. Boom, you got it. Perfect. My favorite grocery store in Detroit, the Honey Bee Market. You can try Dr. Ian's clean eating plan yourself. We are giving away two of his latest books, The Clean 20 and The Shred Diet. All right, for your chance to win, go to our Live in the D Facebook page or contest page. You click on Detroit.com where you will also find the contest rules.